Praise the Lord. This is Bishop Joseph Marcus, New Foundation Apostolic Ministries International, with another ministry moment. Today, a serious thought came to my mind. It's actually listed in three different places in the book of Psalms, in Hebrews, the third chapter, verse number 15, and Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verse number seven. It reads like this. While it was limited to a certain day, if you will hear my voice and harden not your heart, it's important for us to be able to hear the voice of God. In this world right now, we're hearing so many voices. We're hearing the voice of Hollywood, the voice of the media, the voice of political parties, the voices of charismatic personalities. But the real question is, will we hear the voice of God? That text in Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verse number seven, really points us to a time that the children of Israel had come out of Egypt. And upon leaving Egypt, they had to depend upon the voice of God. Yes, they had a visible manifestation. They had the cloud and the fire. And yes, they had a leader, but they had to believe it was God's voice directing them. So I wanna challenge you today, in spite of everything that you see going on, all that you hear, make sure you pay attention to the voice of God. Jesus said these words, my sheep, they know my voice and another they will not follow. It's important to hear the voice. Again, this is Bishop Joseph Marcus, New Foundation Apostolic Ministries International with another ministry moment Hear the voice.